Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go over Aruba ClearPass. So what is Aruba ClearPass? Aruba ClearPass is a NAC, Network Access Controller, and what it does is it can be used for wired.1x, wireless.1x, uh, security, things like that. It's a lot like Cisco ICE. It plays in that same that same area and what we're going to do is we're going to set up a clear pass right now you can see i have clear pass set up over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to start from the beginning let's let's bring up a node uh aruba clear pass there we go and what we'll do is give this see 60 what do we need 62 something okay um let's see save that so th in this video we're going to really go over the bootstrapping setting up a connection to it making sure we can get into it so let's start it and we'll also i'm going to move it over here we'll connect to this same network so that we can get out So on this appliance, we have ETH1 and ETH2. We have two interfaces. ETH1 we're going to use for management. ETH2 we're going to use for the network. So that's that's what we do here. You see ETH1 is connected to the, net, to the management network. ETH2 is connected to the switch here. And on this switch, it's on, I think, VLAN 5, which is our management network. Let's, uh, let's add that. Let's add that. So we'll just put in VLAN 5. Okay, there we go. So now we can see that's on VLAN 5. That's the management network. Uh, clear pass. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay. So the first time you boot it up, it's going to say VM appliance types. We're going to go with the lab one, C lab V. We'll pick that one. Everything looks good. It's going to get the system information configuration, and this may take a few minutes. So it's going to delete all the disk. Uh, it's saying, please ensure the disk has the recommended capacity. Sure. Yep. Sounds good. And this would be for system encryption. We're not going to do this here, but in a production setting, you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to encrypt the disk. There's no reason not to. This is a security appliance after all. Okay. So we'll go through the setup, copying files. And our goal here is that we will use this in the next few videos to set up TACAX Plus for the switch here, the switch, which is running iOS 15.2, the Nexus switches, and the ASAs right here. So, and well, this one too, but also the these ASAs. So we'll get all those set up. Maybe this switch, not sure. We could do that too. We'll see what we have, what we have. But getting the ASA set up, and then what we can do is we can authenticate to Active Directory. So we have an Active Directory server down here. And if you want to see how we set that up, there, I have other videos on setting up Active Directory in a different 
in a, a different group of videos, but this one is set up. So test Eve is the domain and we have some test users. There's my user, the administrator user. So we have a few users we can play around with. Um, test user two is a domain admin. Test user three is part of wired off user 70. So this was a test for the dot one X that I was doing. So dot one X is also coming up in the future. We'll do some dot one X configuration to prevent this machine here from connecting to the network, giving it a VLAN um, once it's authenticated, once the user authenticates. Okay, so that's our Active Directory server. We can use that for authentication for ClearPass. We'll, we'll join ClearPass to the AD. It is currently joined, this one. So I'll show you how to do that, where to do that. So this is still coming up, setting up boot targets. And the reason you want to set up TACAX Plus is for authentication. Just it's easier. You can add users to groups, AD groups, and just have them authenticate to each device without having to remember a local password. If you have to change a password or remove someone, if they've left the organization, you can just remove their access from, from the AD group or once their AD account is disabled, they won't be able to get back into any of these devices. So and it can be very granular. It also allows you to see what the each user has been doing and you don't end up having a user logging in or all users sharing an account. Uh, nice, another nice thing with ClearPass, you can set it up for, you can integrate it with Duo or RSA for multi-factor or even Okta for multi-factor authentication. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I think it's still coming up. So that's why you'd want to use something like ClearPass or ICE. And this is just the, the TACAX part. Okay, so we're just waiting for this to boot. I'm going to pause the video while we wait. Okay, so now the system has come up. It took a little while. So on the first login, the username is app admin, and the password. Let me bring up a notepad and I'll show you the password. Password is E tips one, two, three with a lowercase E E T I P S one, two, three. Is it admin? Might be admin. E T I P S one two three. Let me try some. Admin. E. Let me just try that once more. No. Okay. Hold on. Hold on one second. Okay, so it should be, let me see if I type that wrong, app admin, I'm 
Oh, yeah, okay. So I just typed it wrong. It's app admin, E, lowercase E, capital T, capital I, capital P, capital S, one, two, three. Okay, so you're going to enter the host name. I'm just going to call this clear pass 001. Management port IP4 address. So this is the ETH1. I'm just going to give this a... Let me see what I have on my network first. Let me just do a quick ping. All right, so I'm just going to give this 192. One sixty eight zero dot one thirty two. Twenty four bit mask. And you can also set up the data port address here. Um, yeah, we can do that. So let's do this 10155.25. So this allows us to set up And you can see what we're doing here is we're going to put that on VLAN 5 and this is VLAN 5 10155.25. Oh, that's not the gateway. Gateway.1 Primary DNS, we're just going to put in that, no secondary, new password. Okay, new password has been put in. We're not going to configure the date and time information, but you should point it to your NTP server, whatever that is on your network. And we're not going to do FIPS. So it's going to give us the summary. And we're going to continue. But we could have started over or quit. All right. So then setting everything. So once this part is done, We're going to be able to go in through the web and continue the uh, process of setting up the system. Using our management IP address. All right, so we just have to wait for this to complete. I'm going to pause the recording while we wait for that. So it's continuing to stop all the services here, it goes through everything and stops it after configuration. And then it's going through now, it's going to start all the services. So that should be ready in a few minutes. Okay. So the install is complete here. It says initial configuration is complete. Use the new password to log into the CLI, exiting. So we can just press a key. And there we go. ClearPass001 is set up. So now let's go over here. We're going to 192.168.0.132. And you can see it's self-signed cert. So we have to go through that. and wait for the first time for the policy manager to come up. Okay, so here's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see the platform activation key. So you need to install all the licenses at this point. Now this one, we're not gonna do this, but you go through, you install the activation key, and then you can log in, I think, and then you are able to add the rest of the licensing. You have to add about three or four 
I think four more licenses to this to get this running. So this is where this video will end. So we're at this point. We're going to close this out. And let's, uh, this is the, this is our current one. Let's uh, restart this, refresh this. And you can see that we have 67 days to activate the product. Let's just log in. And there we go. Clear pass one. This is clear pass one. And you can see the dashboard here. We'll go through all this in a future video. So thank you for watching. I, I appreciate it.